Hallo zusammen, herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge Tales of Berseria. Letzte Folge haben wir die Wahrheit erfahren über die Dämonenpest, dass es sie eigentlich gar nicht gibt, dass die Leute, die von ihrer Bosheit überwältigt wurden, schon immer quasi Dämonen waren, sie aber nicht als Dämonen erkennbar waren, sondern einfach nur als besonders gewalttätige, gewaltbereite Personen. Ja, und jetzt geht's weiter. Wir haben hier noch ein Ausrufezeichen und dann da hinten den Stern. So I rescued this poacher who'd run away from one of those class 4 islands, right? She mentioned something about being hired by some chef to go hunt a rare wolf on the island. But she didn't see a single blasted critter on that island, let alone any rare wolf. Place was empty. Then why did she run away? Even though she never saw nothing, she kept hearing some beast howling round the island. Freaked her right out, I tell ya. When she got back to her boat, her food had been pilfered. And her ship was scratched up to hell. She got out of there as quick as she could, but her ship sunk soon as she hit open water. Hmm. Sounds like whatever's there is as smart and manipulative as it is vicious. Sounds like. Later I heard some talk about how several exorcists had gotten killed on that island. If you plan on going, you'd best be very cautious. Okay, wir könnten nun zur Verwaltungszone oder zu einer neuen Verwaltungszone der Klasse 4 gehen, wenn wir dann wollen. Die Frage ist, müssen wir das wirklich? Wir gucken erstmal, wie es hier weitergeht. Sir, we just received a Sylph J from the boss of the Bloodwings. She has a job for us and wants us to meet her in Logress. How should we respond? Let's do it. Besides, we need to see if that demon in the villa was actually a Therian. Good point. And the Bloodwings might know something about the other Therians too. We're heading for Logress. Prepare to set sail. Ready anytime. Ja, das ist natürlich eine gute Idee. Die Blutschwingen könnten tatsächlich mehr wissen. Ähm. Äh. Oh Gott, wo ist das denn? Renied müssen wir hin, ne? Oder? Oder wo müssen wir hin? Nee, das war falsch. Ketnix ist aber doch auch falsch. Hä? Hey. Oder? <lacht> Super, nee, ich glaube Ketnix war es. Da können wir nicht hin. Wir können nur nach... Ja, stimmt, da. Sechsonhafen. Und dann da Richtung Süden. Das da mit den... Mit dem Fachwerk, das ist es. I lost my mother to a demon. Yet that girl's a Therian. I I don't even know what I want anymore. Hey, that's pretty. You like to look at that thing, don't you? Yes, my mother... Someone very important to me gave me this. I treasure it a lot. Looking at it gives me strength. Do you want to see it? Yeah! Ah! What's wrong? My face! It's... it's scary! I don't want to look like that! I don't want my mommy to hate me! Mommy! <laughs> mommy! When I was her age, that's just how I cried. Come, Oana. I want you to see this. That huge owie! What happened? It's big and ugly, isn't it? There are scary things about my body, too. But do you think I'm scary, Kamoana? No, not at all. But are you all right? Does that hurt? Thanks, sweetie. I'm all right, I promise. What about me? Do you think I'm scary? You're such a sweetheart, Kamoana. Nobody could ever be scared of you. Not me, not your mother, not Lafayette. You don't have to cry anymore. It'll be okay. I promise. Okay. 
okay. That scar, was it from a demon? Yeah, they attacked my village when I was a girl. I was so hurt, I couldn't move. But my mother lured them away from me so I could survive. What happened to her? The last thing she said to me was, Stay strong and keep living. Oh. Come to the deck. Grimoire says she's learned something from the book. Hey, why is your face so red? It's nothing. Somehow, I doubt that. It's nothing, I, I swear. <laughs> Ach, yeah. Do you all remember the second verse of that song Lafayette read earlier? Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. Right. That's what I've gathered you all here to discuss. And we think that passage means that Inominat and the Therians will be revived by a chosen one, right? Yes, but the shall be forever reborn part kept bothering me. I've reconsidered my analysis. Suppose that instead of someone being chosen by Inominat to create Therians, the song means that Inominat chooses who becomes Therians. <sighs> But so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn. What do you think that could mean? That someone receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as a Therian. Like Kamoana. Which is to say that the Abbey figured out how to turn people into Therians, and then got right to work. That's... Are you really that surprised? Artorius has always been one to prioritize the many over the individual. As I well know. Another thing to consider is this wording about Therians being forever reborn. This could mean that one Therian will be reborn again and again. Or it could mean that different Therians will be born to take their place. Meaning that even if you kill one, there are more waiting in line. They can't be wiped out. Looks like prioritizing the one over the many was the right call this time, eh, Velvet? I never said I wouldn't kill her, if it would prevent Inominat's reawakening. But Therians can't be killed. Not truly. Hmm... So, in a nutshell, if you kill one, another person who's receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as one. Right. But the song says that seven mouths feed the body. So there's only so many around. If you don't kill them, the next ones won't be born. Exactly. So we remove the seven Therians from their Earth Pulse points instead. But then, we also have to protect them so the Abbey doesn't steal them back, or kill them. Sounds tricky. We've got to protect my bug, too. Yeah, you take real good care of that thing now, got it? You bet I will! In that case, we should probably work on securing a proper hideout for ourselves. You got a secret base or anything, Aizen? It's every man's fantasy, but sadly, I don't. We need a hard-to-find spot. One where we can guarantee a steady supply of malevolence for the Therians. Hmm, somewhere devoid of people but full of malevolence. Real poser you got there. With the Abbey in control of the entire continent, finding a place like that will be easier said than done. Meanwhile, Inominat's reawakening draws ever closer. We'll have to keep collecting our Therians while we search for a hideout. For now, let's just get to Logris. Hmm. Spannend, spannend. Das heißt, ja, es ist jetzt im Endeffekt eine Planänderung. Vorher hieß es, wir müssen die Therions alle umnieten. Jetzt heißt es, wir müssen sie finden, vom Erdpuls lösen und beschützen. Hey, old man! Give me all the water and food you got. Wait your turn, moron. I was drifting out at sea for three days. Almost died out there. Wee -hee, poor you. You probably deserved it. Say that again, wise ass. I dare you. Ah, uh, shut up, both of you. No one's getting anything until you pay me what you owe first. Uh, are they gonna be okay? Don't pay them any mind. 
Sailors are just a short-tempered bunch, that's all. Huh? The hell are you doing? What's going on? They've jacked up the price to dock our ship here. Oh yeah? Some real balls you've got there, buddy. If you lot want to moor here, that's the price you're gonna pay. Look, pirates are a liability to begin with, but calling your crew infamous these days would be putting it lightly. The more wanted you are, the more it's gonna cost to hide you. Capiche? <sighs> Hard to argue there. Benwick, just pay the man what he wants. <sighs> yes, sir. You're such pushovers. You and the captain both. I knew I could count on you to come through, Eisen. Pleasure doing business with you. Looks like I'm causing you trouble. It comes with the job. Don't sweat it. Some sailors just have longer tempers than others. <laughs> Noted. <lacht> Wir haben schon eine coole Truppe hier, finde ich. Ohne Jacke, Elia nur erhalten. Warte mal. Können wir das jetzt hier irgendwie... Ja, ohne Jacke. Als sie die ausgezogen hatte. <lacht> Aber ich finde es eigentlich, mit, mit Jacke sieht es irgendwie kompletter aus. Da fehlt ansonsten irgendwie was. So, wir haben hier noch äh, Ausrufezeichen. Bevor wir nach Logres gehen, möchte ich mir die gerne noch anhören. All right, everything's all fixed up. Now to polish this ship from top to bottom. You really throw your back into your work, don't you? Why shouldn't I? The Von Eltias are pride and joy, our weapon. And most importantly, our home. I'm sure you've heard this before, but she's one odd-looking ship. The Von Eltia was built by the Kingdom 12 years ago, using the very best technology available. She was designed for search and seizure operations on the high seas. Apparently, her unusual design comes from an engineer who is familiar with technology from the far continent. But on her maiden voyage, a string of mysterious accidents took the lives of the captain, then the second, and then the third in command. People thought the ship was bad luck. She was about to be scrapped when Captain Eifried came and snatched her for himself. If the ship was bad luck, why did Eifried want it? Well, I'm sure part of it was that he wanted a sturdy ship, capable of reaching the far continent. But when I asked him why, he said, she looks interesting. She's too interesting, if you ask me. We've been chased by storms, struck by icebergs, attacked by a giant whale. You name it. Three years ago, when the first mate arrived, it all made sense. To think we'd been haunted by a reaper the whole time. Oh, come on. Don't go blaming the captain and the first mate for every bad thing that happens. I bet you're all just frustrated because you're forced to go where they tell you. None of us are forced to be here. We're here because we choose to be here. And we do so fully knowing what sort of men the captain and the first mate are. Anyone can leave the crew whenever they like. We're free pirates, each of us. Here because we want to be. Some of us love adventure. Some are looking to test their fate. And some are just searching for a good place to die. We're a ragtag bunch of rogues, that's for sure. But not a one of us has died carrying regret or resentment. So we're glad to help out you and yours. But you'd best not forget what we stand for. I won't. They're quite the crew, aren't they? Were all those accidents truly caused by your power? Yeah. I've been searching far and wide for a way to lift the Reaper's curse. But when I couldn't find a single thread to follow on this continent, I turned my eyes to the other side of the ocean. And that's why you boarded this ship. And a fine ship she is. The Von Eltia was built from 1,000-year-old wood, you know. Before I found my coin, she was my vessel. But then the accidents came. And then Eifried stole the ship. Did he know you were on board? Definitely. He had pretty solid resonance going for him. Although at first, I think he assumed I was just a dour-eyed lubber worthy of little notice. I suppose being a Reaper tends to take its toll like that. <laughs> no argument there. But still, whether they could see me or not, they didn't act any differently at all. I fought my damn curse with everything I had. And Eifried and his crew fought right along with me. Hell, we even finally made it to the Far Continent. And you didn't find anything there? To help with your curse? I didn't even look. But that's why you went there, isn't it? Eventually, 
I just got tired of fighting back. The crew, they taught me how to feel alive. And the joy of pursuing my dreams alongside good friends. Eine schöne Geschichte. Die Van Eltia war also der Träger von Eisen, okay. Interessant, interessant. Oh je, oh je, oh je. Und Eisen hat mit seinem Fluch den, den, ja, dem Schiff quasi einen schlechten Ruf gegeben. Oh wei. Der macht aber auch schon was mit. Warte mal, wo muss ich denn hier hin? Hier unten. Da ist das nächste Ausrufezeichen. Just when are we gonna be allowed free access through Vortigern? Having to go all the way around it every time is far too inconvenient. If they insist on building a big gate over the sea, the least they can do is let honest folk through it. I get why you're upset. But maybe they just haven't been able to devote the resources to fix it. After those savage demons wrecked the place. Look, those demons who attacked Helavis are still in the loose, aren't they? Yep. Standing right here. From what I heard, the demons who wrecked Vortigern were the same ones that killed the High Priest. What? No way. Wait a minute. The High Priest was killed? Yeah. The official story is that he's injured or sick or something. But I heard differently. Then no wonder they haven't had time for Vortigern. I hope the Abbey finds those demons quick. Those monsters need to pay for what they did. Hmm. Looks like our infamy is growing by the day. Maybe they've even put a bounty on us by now. They keep embellishing our escapades, though. I'm honestly a little hurt they're calling us monsters. The more they embellish, the easier it is for us to get around. Confusion and panic will only help us. Das stimmt und niemand weiß, wie wir aussehen, wer wir sind. Ansonsten hätten wir wahrscheinlich schon mehrfach echte Probleme bekommen. Gut, ihr Lieben, ich würde aber sagen... Oh, da kommen wir gerade nicht durch. Wir müssen da unten anscheinend lang. Ähm ich würde sagen, an dieser Stelle war es das erstmal wieder für heute. Wir haben wieder sehr, sehr viel Hintergrundstory erfahren. Heute mal eine etwas entspanntere Folge. Aber wie seht ihr das denn? Findet ihr Kamorana gruselig? Ich finde, sie ist ein echt hübsches Mädchen. Auch wenn sie nicht aussieht wie andere Mädchen in ihrem Alter, weil sie einfach eben ein Therion ist. Aber ich finde sie sehr, sehr hübsch. Da muss sie sich gar keinen Kopf drum machen, meiner Meinung <lacht> meiner Meinung nach. Also dann, ihr Lieben, vielen lieben Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich würde mich freuen, wenn ihr auch morgen wieder mit dabei sein würdet. Und damit macht's gut. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.